So thank you so much for joining this session, guys. So today we are going to discuss about Elastic Compute Cloud, that is EC2 on AWS. So myself, Gaurav Swastav, I'm currently working as a, a senior software consultant at Nasdaq. So let's quickly check the knowledge etiquettes. So punctuality. Uh, join the session before five minutes so that uh, we can start on time and we can conclude on time. So feedback. So please make sure to submit a constructive feedback for all the session uh, because it is very helpful for the presenter. So that we can improve if something is not going the right way, right? And the silent mode. So keep your mobile devices in silent mode. Feel free to move out the session if you have any client call or any urgent call. So you can just move. So avoid disturbance. Uh, so please avoid unwanted chit chat during the session. Uh, if you have any query, just raise your hand. So I will take uh, last of the session. Okay. So let's quickly check the, our agenda today. So we are going to discuss about what is AWS EC2. So I hope lots of people already know that what is EC2 right? because uh, mostly we are working on the cloud right now. So the second one is EC2, uh, EC2 component. The third one is EC2 instance and its type. And fourth, we will see how we can create EC2 servers. And fifth, we can see how we can use the server. And sixth, we can see what, how, what is AMIs and how we, it is useful for the EC2. And uh, last but not the least, demo. We, I can show you how we can create the EC2 servers, OK? So let's quickly go to the first uh, slide. So that is uh, what is EC2. So EC2 is stand for uh, Elastic Compute Cloud. That is com uh, Compute Cloud means anything related to RAM, CPU, or processor. Uh, these things are called Compute Cloud. Okay. So Elastic means flexible kind of information, like anything uh, that is flexible to use, right? So EC2 is just like your basic uh, desktop or laptop uh, computer, uh, like you can access on internet. Uh, so using EC2, you can create servers and you can create different kind of host. So that is uh, basically EC2 as a short brief. Uh, let's check the what definition we have written. So I already explained like EC2 is a web service which aims to make the life easier for developer by providing secure and reliable compute capacity in the cloud. So EC2 allows you to launch virtual server known as instance uh, on the AWS cloud, which can be used for wide range of computing tasks for hosting a simple web application to running a complex learning mode. So you can create any kind of application in using EC2. Okay. So let's check the, what is the key feature that EC2 provides. So the first one is scalability. So EC2 instance can be easily scaled up or scaled down to handle the changing workload. For example, if this time, suppose you uh, develop an e-commerce site, right? So currently, as you know, the festival uh, time is going on. So there is high chances the website traffic will be high, right? So you can easily scale your uh, like RAM side or any or processor side easily in EC2, right? Just a normal check. The second one is instance type. So uh, a variety of instance type are available to meet different performance and cost requirements. So it, EC2 provides us with different kind of instance type. Suppose uh, you want to develop a software for the this only organization, right? So you you just need a small uh, a small RAM or CPU or processor, right? So you can you can choose instance as well. I suppose if you want to create a software for the uh, whole state, so you need a bigger bigger that part, right? The RAM and the CPU process. So there are different kind of options according to your your need. You can select that, and and whatever you selected, uh, you will pay for that. Okay. The third one is elastic IP address. So you can associate static IP address with your instance. Uh, so is that uh, IP address means uh, is it IP address static address means uh, suppose you are creating a server that uh, that server should be a constant, right? If you stop uh, stop or terminate the instance, it if you again are rerunning the instance, so uh, server uh, sorry value can't be changed. That what expectation because uh, suppose if you want to uh, host the site, right? So in suppose in, in few cases, the, the site server will down. So if you're again running up of the server, you you don't want to serve host name will be changed. Okay, so that uh, uh, that uh, feature provided by EC2 as well. So security group. Uh, so security group control uh, inbound traffic by defining rules that uh, allow specific traffic to reach your instance. For example, uh, you can allow uh, incoming traffic by port on 80 or 90, anyone. Like any, if you want any restriction only, like a uh, local hood 8080 or 9090 only port are able to access your site. So you can put a restriction on that. 
okay and same is like uh, out outbound traffic as well similarly you can define a rule on for outbound traffic to control the kind of traffic that allows it to leave the instance okay so <clears throat> let's quickly check the ec2 components so these are the components uh, that ec2 has provide like if you want to develop a game development iot things like uh, if you want to uh, secure if you want to develop a secure application you if you want to do a machine learning if you want to do a mobile mobile services if you if you want to use any developer tools so all kind of features is to already have you using this feature you can create your server very easily and very scalable so as we starting as we discuss in starting like uh, ec2 is like your basic desktop but the naming convention would be different right so in basic uh, basic computer we have operating system but in ec2 we have amis in AMIs, you can choose which kind of operating system you want to use, like Linux or Windows or Mac, anything. Like the second one is CPU. We are using uh, in basic uh, computer we have CPU, and in EC2 we have instance type, right? And in basic computer we have hard hard drive to store some data, and in EC2 we have EBS. And network com we are using to get the internet connection. So in instance we have IP addressing, and for firewall we are using firewall for a security purpose, right? As, as you know that. So in EC2, we also have the security. We have we, we call it a security group that we already discussed, right? We, we just need to add inbound or outbound traffic. And the last one is RAM. Uh, I think we already know why we are using RAM. So let's go to the next. Okay. So this one is uh, introduction to instance type, right? That we already discussed the instance type. So Amazon EC2 provider us a with a uh, selection of instance type that are optimized for different use cases like instance instance type com compromise a very verifying a combination of cpu memory and storage networking capacity and this gives us the flexibility to choose the most appropriate appropriate mix of resource for the application so each instance type uh, include one or more instance type size that allows us to scale the resource to requirements so we uh, with uh, Instance size have different. Uh, we divide it in the following categories. That is general purpose, and the second one is compute optimized. The third one is memory optimized. The fourth one is storage optimized. The fourth, fifth one is accelerated computing. The last one is HPC optimized. Okay, so let's understand uh, step by step. The first one is general purpose. So, <coughs> general purpose uh, instance provide a balance of computing, memory, and networking resource. Suppose you want to uh, develop a small application where you are using a small computation part and you need some small memory, right? So you can choose the general purpose. So in general purpose, uh, let me show you which kind of uh, EMIs are present. So uh, yeah, this is the general purpose. If you see these, these kind of EMIs are present, if you want to create a server like general purpose, you can use these kind of EMIs. So if you check this EMIs, let me uh, search this as well. So like T3, yeah. So you, you can see these are the T3 that we have. We have only two CPU, 0.5 GB RAM, and current generation. So let me explain what is this means. Like two CPU, we know that the CPU are we. I think we already know, but let me explain one more time. So this means that the instance is configured with two virtual uh, virtual center processing unit, right? Each CPU is virtual representation of processing unit is. In physical computer, that I think we already know, right? And one GB is RAM is like a <clears throat> RAM we are using to uh, temporarily store the data that is actively being used, right? And the current generation means uh, this indicate that the T2 micro instance belong to the current generation of a AWS instance type, and AWS pro provide a, a new release all all the time because they uh, improve the performance and the feature efficiency. Okay. Uh, let's check the other one. The general, I think that we cover already. The second one is compute optimized. Compute optimized. Suppose if you want to uh, creating, if you want to create any machine learning interface, or if you want to any uh, develop a high performance processor, right? So here you can use compute optimized. So compute optimized instance are ideal for compute bound application that benefit from high performance processing. So intense uh, intenses uh, belonging to this category are very suitable for batch processing, 
workload, media high performance web server, high performance computing, scientific modeling, dedicated gaming server. If you want to develop a gaming server, you can use this. So this kind of uh, this kind of application, if you want to create, so you can use the uh, compute optimize, right? So let's check uh, this one as well, like which kind of uh, AMIs are present for compute optimize. So yeah, if you, if you can see these are these are the AMIs present for if you want to create a, a compute optimized server, right? So this one's CC4. Let me uh, test this as well. Uh, C4. I don't know it's free or level or not. C7. Let's check. C7 is a level one. Yeah. As you can see, this this is a but this is not free currently because if you if you are using, you have to pay. Uh, and already uh, the price already mentioned in here. If you want to use this kind of uh, server, you have to pay for that, right? Okay, let's move to the next. Uh, the third one is memory optimize. So memory optimized instance are designed to deliver fast performance for workload that process large data set in memory. Uh, like if you if you develop an open source database, right? So you don't know uh, how much contribution uh, will come in the in your database. So in this in this kind of uh, application, you can uh, create a uh, if, if you can create instance like memory optimize. Let me show you this uh, as well. Like which kind of AMI present for the memory optimize? So yeah, you can see like uh, these are the AMIs present for if you want to create a, a memory optimized server. So let me show you R7. Yeah, but right now it's hidden because I, I haven't choose the correct uh, AMI because that's why it's giving this. So as you can see, the CPU size is uh, one, but RAM size is different, right? So all the AMI present to use a different kind of server, whatever, whatever uh, requirement suits you. You, you can select the AMIs and you can create the server. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. The fourth one is accelerated computing. So accelerated computing instance uh, basically used for uh, suppose if you want to create a no, I think we're done after this, right? <clears throat> so storage optimized uh, the fifth one is storage optimized instance so storage optimized instant design for workload that is required high sequential read and write access uh, or to very large data set on local storage so these are uh, ideal for input output instancy application and are targeted to customer using transaction database amazon open open search uh, open search server service and real time analytics such as apache spark you know and traditional database if you want to create you can use this this kind of server last but not not the least so hpc optimize so this is uh, this is the last one because if you want to create a server for the entire country suppose so then you need a large optimization kind of stuff so this is only required for high performance computing instance or purpose to build a to offer a best price best price performance for running hpc workload to scale on aws okay so if you want to check this so let me show you this one as well so if we search hpc so where you can see uh size will be more difference yeah can you see this this is the 384 gb ram and 960 96 cpu units so if you want to develop a broad size of application, then you need this uh, this kind of a server, AMIs to create a server, right? Okay, so let me go next. Yeah, the next one is how we can create AWS EC2 server. So first we have to log into the AWS account. After we, are, we are, if you have the account then if you create an account then uh, amazon provide you a few few months of free trial so you just create your account and just log into the aws account after that you have to choose the ec2 instance where you have to you have to click you have the option called launch instance just click on the launch instance and choose the instance count 
like whatever you whatever name you want to mention you just wrote your name after that you have to choose the ami that we discussed uh, earlier so you can choose your ami or you can create a custom ami as well okay so after that you have to choose the instance type like which kind of uh, instance you want i uh, which kind of instance you want to add so i added a t2 micro t2 micro is uh, why i added because this provide a free a free resource if you if you are using a trial version so t2 micro would be a free after that you have to create a pem file just like your password just uh, using a pem file you can connect to the server as well and after that you have to select the security group like ssh and spp http so ssh is basically used to uh, communicate to uh, linux to linux and http we can use to access to the server right if you create any port you can access to on server you have to enable the http after that you have to choose the uh, ebs ebs means hard drive, hard hard drive how much hard drive you if you want you can uh, select by default it would be 8 because uh, that is enough if, if you are creating a server right by cho after that by, by choosing the launch instance we can able to create a server on the aws cloud okay so after creating the server if your next step is is uh, definitely you have to connect with your server right because uh, if you want your server to, if you want to use your server you have to connect to your server and then you can install uh, whatever software you want right so if you are using a uh, window so you have to download a software called putty so using uh, because uh, windows window application is not support uh, is not supporting direct pem file so you have to convert that file into a uh, readable format window readable format after that you can use uh, otherwise if you are using a uh, linux so you just need to install the git pass and after that by using a uh, git bell just uh, use the ssh key and you can uh, you can connect with your server i will show you after the uh, this uh, discussion i will show how we, how we can uh, connect to server and, and how we can create the server so let's go to the next let me know guys if you have any doubt or any concern till now uh, no i don't have any doubt till now okay thank you thank you for the confirmation let's move on to the next okay so why we need why we need amis right so i think we already discussed the uh, the, the the steps like in this using this step you can create the server right but why we need ami so basically suppose if you want to create suppose if you want to create 1000 of server right so you don't have to you don't need don't have to write a uh, step by step like right? because you if you are writing a step by step command then you have to if it will take multi, it will take much time right so ami uh, helps you to create instance by a less time so as we write as well so an ami or amazon message email is template that is used to create a new instance machine based on the user requirement okay so there are lots of pre configured amis that we already discussed you you can use any amis to create a server uh, in less time so there are two types of emis that that was on predefined that we already uh, discussed the second one is custom emi you can also create a custom emi by by yourself like if you want to do any other kind of config configuration you can easily do it okay so this is all the discussion let me show you the demo uh let's go to the ec2 server directly Right. Then you, once you click on the EC2 server, once the board is coming, in this this board in this board you can see all the instances. Currently, no instance is running, but uh, if you run your instance, all the instances will be there, and you can see the elastic IPs, load balancer. If you if you are using any all the in dashboard, you will see all the all the stuff. Okay, so we want to create an instance. Let's click on the instance part. Just click on the launch instance. Right. Here you have to write your instance name. Suppose I write no Linux uh, server. Okay. And next you have to choose your uh, operating server of AMIs like which which uh, OS you want to use. So I'm using I'm using Ubuntu. So as you can see, this automatically is selected this one because this is free free version. If you want to select anyone else, you can select us, uh, others are available as well. But right now we just uh, stick to this because this is the latest version, Ubuntu 2022. Uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, but I have one doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, if we are launching an instance on Windows, then we have to select here Windows. No, no, no. You just if you want to connect to the server, 
then you have to install a footy footy is software to connect to the server right server if you whatever software you want to create you can create okay thanks Okay, so next we have to choose the instance type. If you if you if you want to change, right now we are using T3 because this is the free trial available. But if you want to, if you are using, if you have any other requirement, you can select uh, other as well, right? But let's uh, select this one. So the third one is key pair. So if you want to create, uh, if you want to create a new key pair, you can create, or if you already have key pair, you can choose select key pair. So I already created one key pair. Uh, I just selected that one. If you want to create a new, you can create. Just click on this button. I can create new. Okay. The, uh, okay. After that, uh, we have to configure the HTTP because HTTP. Why you are created? Because if you want to use this server on internet, then you have to enable the HTTP, right? Then only you can use uh, your public IP on the on the internet. Okay. The next part is uh, we have to select the database like EBS. So I think there's only odd GB already, already selected. So we don't need to change this because uh, we are not going to store any much data in this. So I'm just clicking on the long distance. Uh, once you click on the long distance, this will take a uh, small time. Yeah. So just click on the instance. So yes. So currently you are seeing the instance in launching the status is in initializing. Just click on this uh, instance. If you click on the instance, you can see all the details present here, like which kind of uh, what is the ID, public ID, what is the private ID, what is the status, what is the state, and what is the status of this. Uh, so currently, the status is uh, in the sliding, it will take little time. So you can check other things as well, like security. Uh, in the next session, I will discuss uh, about the security purpose as well, like how we can define a role. If you define a role so that only people can access the uh, instance. So this is not in this session because of uh, time and little less. So we also have this uh, networking section where you can see the your uh, all the IP addresses. So this one is uh, it still is uh, same sliding. Okay, just just let me refresh this. Okay. No issue. So uh, if you want uh, now your your server is created now your next step is to is to you have to you have to. Uh, Connect to the server, right? So just click on the current button, and here you have you have the asset key, right? So just copy the asset key, and uh, where you where you install your uh, where you download the PEM file. Let me show you. This is the PEM file that I downloaded, right? So just open the terminal here and paste the SSH key. You have to add sudo. Just paste the sudo. So once you click on this, uh, yeah. So once you click on this uh, SSH key, you you are inside the server right now. Okay. So now your next step is uh, let's install something, right? We I think we already know the commands in this uh, slides. Let me show you again. Yeah. These are the command that. Uh, oh, one second. I think we are. Open the wrong PPT. These are the command using these command you can uh, you can in, uh, get in uh, inside your server, right? Uh, and you, uh, you can install uh, whatever software you want. Okay, so let's uh, run any commands. Let's go. Yeah, you can see you can see that we are under the root directory. Just install the basic. Uh, Software. Yeah. So this uh, this software is installing inside your uh, server basically. So it will take a little time, maybe. Yeah. So let's install any software. Uh, let's install the Apache. Right. 
right so as you can see apache installs up to fully in a server let me let's check this uh let's check our api address like we are able to open this apache or not let's go to the instance again yeah this is the ip address we have let's copy this ip address and just run it yeah as you can see apache is successfully installed and we are able to fetch this uh, on our system as well right uh, we can also i can also show you the status of the server if you want uh, Yeah, as you can see, uh, the status is uh, the Apache server is currently running and active. You can just uh, use your, your public key and you can able to access the server. So, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. That is pretty much from my side, guys. If you have any question, any query, do let me know. I think we have the volley party so that this session is a bit small. Okay, I'm taking as a no. If there is no question, then I think we can bind up the session.